started off, mm -hmm. it was quite exciting actually yeah, at first. Right. It was quite exciting finding all these, going mm -hmm. into these bookshops, all these amazing spiritual books. But I started exploring all the different religions, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, Buddhism, Christianity, you know, Hinduism, and then all the Zen, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and meditation techniques. I mean, I, I was mm -hmm. just, um, I mean, th this was a pretty uh, extreme character, you know. And so mm -hmm. it's like when I got my hands on the yeah. spiritual stuff, yeah. It was like I yeah. went for it. And then very early on I came across this idea of awakening, you know, spiritual awakening, an end to suffering, an end to suffering. And that, that sounded good. You know, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I want that. Yeah, that's well, that's the rocket fuel of the seeking, no doubt about it, is the end to suffering. Yeah. It's like, gosh. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I finally uh, I passed through, a, I went through the Paul Revere stage with this, which was, you know, give me liberty or give me death. Mm -hmm. You know, give me freedom or this let it be over I just don't care which it is but give me one of them right now so there's that sort of energetic movement at that point which is it sets you on a new track a new trajectory in in your life and you were saying you know uh, you don't know I wonder do you think you could if you even if you want wanted to do you think you could find your way back to, to the where way you was. were before, yeah. No, no way. Yeah, no. right. I don't even think it's an option. No. <laughs> I couldn't find my way back if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so there never seems to be enough. Okay. So at its core, as we were saying before, the, and, and, and from your writings, it just sees, it seems to be at the core, there's a desire to complete ourselves. And maybe that spiritual thing is also another thing about trying to complete ourselves as well. Yeah, we try and complete ourselves with money or we try and complete ourselves with spirituality. It's, it's essentially, it's the same movement, essentially. The thing that kills me, though, is that we come, we, we stumble onto this Advaita kind of, kind of thing, which is really, really about dismantling identity. Mm. And, and we get corrupted and co-opted by our egos and form a spiritual identity yeah. and end up Oh, I can tell you about that. We're shaped. I know we're going to talk about your part of the story yeah. on that. Tell me about that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Well, I'll carry on from where I left off. I mean, yeah, sure. So the spiritual seeking began and just, um, yeah, at the start it was really exciting, dismantling mm -hmm. old beliefs, you mm -hmm. know, sitting and meditating and watching all this stuff come up and go, my God, is that me? You know, Were you this, working during this period of time? Uh, I up to the point where I was in the hospital, I'd been I'd been working for a couple of years at the BBC. Mm -hmm. Then, because of the uh, glandular, because of mm -hmm. the mono, um, mm -hmm. I, I was very very tired. It made me really mm -hmm. really tired for mm -hmm. a, a good few months. So I had, there was a good few months there where no, I wasn't working. And, and that's I mean, it was great in a way because it gave me the yeah. freedom. Because when this inquiry see, thing starts to take on, when you're talking about dismantling and that kind of stuff, at least in my experience, tremendous amount of solitary time. Well, I, I, really, I really shut myself off. Yeah, I mean, really I needed almost nobody. For I needed to be alone mm -hmm. right then. I, I, I didn't mm -hmm. know what was happening to me. You know, right, exactly. it, it, this was stuff that it was. It went so deep. You know, mm -hmm. that I, I knew from the very beginning that, that no one could help me. You see, right? Because that that, that near death experience, near death mm -hmm. what, what, whatever mm -hmm. it was, that taste of death. Anyway, mm -hmm. or oh, I realized well, I, I have to die alone. That's it. No one can no die. One else no goes one can die yet. for me. Nobody yeah. can die for me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, but about that, it's like, therefore, I, I need to, I need to awaken. This is, this is serious now, because mm -hmm. other people, they're, they're, they're wonderful. They can help me with all sorts of things, but they can't die for me. I mm -hmm. have to go there alone, mm -hmm. and it could happen today. Right. That this, this was what was going through my mind. So yeah, it started off. It was all very exciting, very new, and and all these questions. I started to get some answers, and you know, I started meditating and self inquiry, doing self inquiry, mm -hmm. and um, you know. Uh, Sitting there, sit, I used to sit in my parents' yard, garden, um, for hours and hours every day, just just looking. Just I would just look at flowers. I would just I would just uh, sit there and look at things, you mm. know. And um, and it was all sorts of insights started to come, you know. As like anyone who's a spiritual seeker, you know, mm. has had had insights and, and spiritual experience, all sorts of experiences, you know. Experiences of deep bliss and, and experiences, of glimpses of oneness, all sorts of things. But mm -hmm. they all, it's like the experiences came and went, came and went. Of course. And. They have a tendency um, to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, strangely enough. And, and then back then, of course, there was the attempt to hold on to the experiences and yeah. frustration and not right. being able to get the experiences back. back. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, it's hard to talk about that. It's like so much stuff happened. It's like just this. Yeah. 
um, it was messy, it was really messy. And there were times of great despair, you mm -hmm. know. There, there were times of great bliss and joy, yeah. and there were times of deep despair. And, yeah. and even, like, I, yeah. deep existential, like, mm -hmm. more so than ever, this, was, this, this, wasn't, this wasn't material suffering, mm -hmm. this was spiritual, existential yeah. mm -hmm. suffering.